Hello and welcome to this video on circle theorems. Now we're going to go through all the circle theorems and uh, at the end we'll just summarize all of them together. Now the most easiest and simple circle theorem we have is that a radius and a tangent meet at 90 degrees. Okay, So that angle will always be 90 degrees and also that Angle on the other side, of course, because angles in, in a, angles in a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Okay, now just so you remember, if you haven't been taught in school, a tangent is basically a line that only touches a, a, the circle once. So that is a tangent. Okay, uh, let's go to the next theorem now. Now, there's two ways to say this theorem. But basically, when you see this sort of bow tie shape, right, like a bow tie shape, these two angles are the same. So if this was 40 degrees, this has to be 40 degrees. OK, and if this was 20 degrees, this is got to be 20 degrees. OK, and of course, if this was 60, this would be 60 as well. But that's not necessarily because of the circle theorem. That's just because, well, Opposite angles are the same. Okay, so rem this one, uh, remember the key phrase angles in the same segment are equal. But of course, this is the actual definition, but the first um, definition is a bit easier to memorize. Okay, let's go to the next one. Angles in and the angle in a semicircle is sorry, angle in a semicircle is always 90 degrees. So, what this means is you have to be very uh, careful here. This has to be the diameter for this angle to be 90 degrees. OK, so they might trick you and draw something like this. And then you might think, oh, that's 90 degrees. Well, it's not because if the center was here, that's not a semicircle. OK, a semicircle is basically when the circle split up into two halves that's one semicircle that's the other semicircle okay so be very careful with that but in any case so in this case uh, this angle would be 90 degrees okay if you have a triangle in a semicircle let's go to the next one two tangents from the same point i.e a point outside the circle are equal in length so that basically means these are two uh, tangents right this length is the same as this length okay so if that was five centimeters that would be five centimeters as well right and that's really it let's go to the next one opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees so what that means is this, if this angle was 60 degrees, this opposite angle has to be 120 degrees because 60 and 120 add up to 180. And if this was 100 degrees, this one would have to be 80 degrees. OK, so a cyclic quadrilateral, a cyclic quadrilateral is basically uh, when you have a when you have a quadrilateral inside a circle and it touches four points on the circle okay the next theorem a uh, lot of people refer to this as the rocket theorem it kind of looks like a rocket but basically uh, the angle if you have a rocket shaped like this where it touches three sides of the circle then you can say that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference okay so if this was 50 degrees this would have to be 100 degrees because it's double the size. Now, there's a sort of um, different version of this theorem. Um, if you watch this animation, you'll see that it sometimes it has a different form. So go ahead and watch this animation. And as you can see, it actually sometimes looks like this, but even if you had this shape, this would still be 50 degrees. OK, 
okay? You still have to say angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. And lastly, uh, we have the alternate segment theorem. So what that is, is basically when you have this shape, um, when you have a triangle like this inside the circle, so you have this triangle, uh, and then you have a tangent, then basically what it's saying, uh, what the alternate segment theorem is, is that the top right angle is going to be equal to the bottom left angle. And the bottom right angle, feels 80 degrees, would be equal to the top left angle. And that is it. That all, that's all what this alternate segment theorem is. Okay, so just memorize the, the shape that it comes in. You have a circle, then you have a triangle inside the circle. Then at one of the points on the triangle, there's a tangent. And that angle equals that angle, and that angle equals that angle. Okay, and that is all the circle theorems you have to know for GCSE. Okay, and uh, in questions you can have, sometimes they might combine the circle theorems into into one question. You might have two circle theorems, you might have three circle theorems, and you just have to try your best to spot what the circle theorems are in the question, then try to decipher what the angles are. And uh, there you have it.